there seems to be a bit of a bug with uh, Adobe Media Encoder, where here's your uh, log footage in the window here, and we add on a standard LUT, for example, to get this done, and we do all our adjustments and everything, make sure everything is great, um, the usual. And then when we actually go to add it to the Media Encoder queue, just the log footage gets output. Here I'm going to export media. I'm going to send it to Adobe Media Encoder. And then we just set a um, standard output and send to the queue. So this is this is your normal output window, and this is still within Premiere, so it's not sent it to Media Encoder yet. So when we press Q, what then happens is Media Encoder launches. So as you can see, it's as if the LUT was never actually put on the footage. So the fix. What the problem seems to be is that the LUTs are currently in the Adobe Lumetri LUT folder, which is great. Um, but if you have any custom LUTs, i.e. anything other than the standard Amira, ARRI ones, etc., that come bundled with uh, Premiere, you need to copy them over also to the Media Encoder LUT folder. Now, for me, the easiest way to do this um, is to find your shortcuts on your Start menu. Now, what we're going to do is go on the Start menu. So you right click here and then on more, open file location. Then what you do is you get the shortcuts and there it is, Adobe Premiere Pro CC and then open file location. And then you're now in the Premiere Pro directory. So now you need to navigate to Lumetri and then LUTs and it's in the technical folder. And then here's the ones that come standard and here's all the ones that I've added for the DVX and the GH4. So select them, so click on the top one, hold shift key, click on the bottom one, control C to copy. And then if you don't know where the Adobe Media Encoder Lumetri stuff is, you can use the same principle. So you can go to your shortcut for Media Encoder, more, right click, more, open file location, there it is, and then open file location, because that's actually a shortcut, and then you'll see Lumetri and its LUTs and it's technical. Now, and as you can see, I've now added all those in and now I've added them in, it all works like a charm. So here's the, the footage with the LUT enabled. Clip, file, export, media, and accept the defaults and queue it. Okay, so there's the job. If we select that, we now press start. If you look at the little preview window, you can now see that that is the color corrected footage with the LUT applied. Now there, are, there's a temporary fix for this. If you haven't got time to be mucking around and you, you just need to get the file out quick, then don't use Media Encoder, just go export and then use Premiere to export the video file. But often you're doing batches of jobs and that's not a very efficient way to work. So it's good to get this fixed. So just remember, whenever you get a custom uh, LUT, um, make sure that it's in all the Lumetri um, LUT technical subfolders. Hope that was some help.